Hello everyone, I'm Lorena. Welcome back to my channel where we mainly talk about the real deal of cleaning. In this video, I will show you how to clean a standard kitchen range hood. Usually, I like to clean because I enjoy clean and healthy spaces, but nothing inspires me more to clean range hoods than safety. At least in North America, the most common fires in homes and restaurants happen because grease catches fire. No wonder why commercial kitchens must display a certificate that shows their hood has been professionally cleaned every 6 to 12 months. To me it's really simple. We clean the grease and remove the risk. Time is precious, so let's not waste it and let's get started. I'll get myself started with the timer. And that's right, I did not mention any specific tools or supplies beforehand because each range hood can have different materials and kinds of screws, so check with your manufacturer's instructions. Before you start, make sure that your range hood is off for safety. Then we'll take this thing apart. The two small grease catchers at the bottom of the filter simply untwist by hand. The catchers are dripping grease, and this really shows that range hoods do work. If I didn't have one of them, my ceiling will be dripping. I am using a Philip head screwdriver, which is the star-shaped head, to remove the two filters covering the fans and motors inside the appliance. I find that removing the screws without losing them is probably the most challenging part, so I highly recommend putting them in a container or a plate to avoid losing them, because they are tiny and spares are hard to find. You too will be coming with me, I have prepared a warm bubble bath for you and I'm sure it will be just what you need after months of hard work. Then I remove the main grease catcher which simply slides to the front. Then the bulb cover. This catcher has two dividers. I'll put those ones to soak too. With this amount of grease, you don't want to throw it down the drain. It is way too much and sooner than later, it will clog your sink. No one wants to pay the extra cash for plumbing work when you can simply remove it with a paper towel and throw it in your organic waste basket to be composted. It's funny how this looks like caramel, honey, or maple syrup until you remember it's grease. I will do this about three times over and over again until I'm satisfied that I've removed as much grease as possible using one half of a paper towel each time. Once I did my best, I will put the catcher to soak along with the other pieces that I previously removed from the range hood. Some warm water and just a few drops of dish soap will do the job. While we wait, grab your favorite kitchen cleaner or degreaser and spray your range vigorously, starting at the top and moving your way to the bottom. Be a little careful around the electrical components to prevent damage. And wait. After a few minutes, use a sponge to scrub the entire surface of your range hood. You might want to use a brush for detailing. Lastly, grab a microfiber cloth and wipe. We're going back to the homemade jacuzzi to see how our other parts are doing. 
As you can see the grease comes out so easily, only with a few strokes with a soft sponge and that's all. For the nooks and crannies, use the help of a cleaning brush and the grease will be gone in no time. As you can see I did not use a lot of water, but now that I scrubbed everything I can unclog my sink, drain the water and give each one of these parts one final rinse with fresh water. Then you can let it air dry. That's it, the range hood is finally clean even though it might not seem like it, but trust me it is. What happened is, I use a degreaser so it left some marks in my stainless steel. Doesn't mean it's dirty, it's just missing the final professional touch. Polish. I use my favorite stainless steel professional polish on a paper towel and apply evenly. This is what makes it look spotless, but it also protects my range hood from rust, dust and even keeps it clean for longer. However, if you don't have one, I'll give you a DIY alternative, olive oil. Honestly, it costs a fraction and it gives the same results. Reassembly time. Grab one by one each piece and put it back together. And voila, we can stop the timer now, just 40 minutes, and I have a new looking stove range hood. Here is the before, for contrast, and the after. I mean, it's shiny, it's exactly how I like it. And most importantly, it makes me feel safe. Because when a clean kitchen appliance can save your life or your loved one's life, I mean, it's priceless, isn't it? Honestly, I love my job. So shiny, so perfect. Thank you for watching. Please don't be shy. If you want to know how to clean something, simply leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Ciao!